Uh uh uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. Oh, my goodness. I very much fear it's time for old Santa Claus soon to be here. But how in the world will we have time to pack when they haven't yet found him and brought him back? You know, the Squeeboblians stole him away, and they did it because they hate Christmas Day. Jonathan Thomas said he'd find him soon. So he started out with the man in the moon to Squeebobbleland. And as a matter of course, they rode upon Gorgonzola the horse. It's a long, long way they've had to go. And the trouble they've had, you'll never know. For the road leads down through the fairy rings, past the home of giants and goblins and things. It's not much fun for a wee little boy, but he promised the children they'd have their toys. I'm glad it's his promise to keep and not mine. And he'll have to hurry. There isn't much time. The trouble has been there's a wicked old witch who rules o'er a land called Rumpelstitch. She's wise indeed in the ways of magic, and the things she plans are very tragic. But they've had the help of the good fairy queen. She knows how to spoil the old witch's scheme. One day as they traveled, they saw a great wall, and there wasn't a way around it at all. As far as their eyes could see and more, there was nothing in sight but a row of doors. So they entered one. Though I can't understand, they found themselves standing in looking glass land. Then lovely Queen Alice said, Now that you're here, I surely must help you, for Christmas is near. So she gave them a whistle, which would make them grow tall. Or, if they preferred, it would make them grow small. She said, I am sure it will help you out. When you rescue Santa, you will need it, no doubt. So they thanked her kindly and bade her good day. But in the pea soup fog, they soon lost their way. As they wandered around, they heard weepings and wails, and out came a dragon with thirteen tails. He chased them until they were quite out of breath. They were snatched just in time from a terrible death by Dinty the Keeper, who heard the uproar, and he let them come in. Then he slammed the door. But he said, here's a present. It's a piece of plum cake. If the dragon eats it, his stomach will ache. Well, the dragon ate it and got very sick. He was really quite hurt that they'd played such a trick. But right after that, their trouble was double. They were captured alive by the awful squee bubbles. Now let's see what's happened to them, for here's where the story begins again. For oh, gracious sakes to goodness, I'm so angry I could weep and wail, for I don't like being thrown in jail. No, and they don't like it either. We wish we were out of here. How are we going to rescue Santa Claus if we're locked up in jail? That wicked old King Squibble, he's the meanest man of all the people. If I had my hands on him, I'd show him a thing or two. You bet your boots that's what I'd do. Ooh, listen, Mr. Man in the Moon, it sounds like someone was opening the door. I wonder who it is. Why, it's only me. Who else could it be? I've come to see you two, so as I can tell if you're hearty and well. That's what I've come to do. Is that so? Well, let me tell you a thing or two. You'd better let us out of here. That's what you'd better do. Yes, that's what you better do. Now, isn't it a shame? And really, I'm not to blame for holding you prisoners so. For I can't let you out, no matter how you shout. It's impossible to let you go. Why? Yeah, why? Why? Why, because of Santa Claus and a promise that I made this year. There shan't be a toy for any girl or boy, and there shan't be any Christmas cheer. That's why. And now, goodbye. You think you're smart, but you will find out Cause we'll try and try till we do get out. Yes, we'll try and try till we do get out. In spite of your tongue wagging and all of your bragging, you'll stay here, just never fear. And you can just remember that when you get out, it'll be hot in the middle of December. It'll be hot for you and that's a promise. Not only from me, but from Jonathan Thomas. Yes. Pish and tush, what a lot of slush. And all I've got to say, I hope you stay well in this dungeon cell. 
and I hope you enjoy your stay. Goodbye. Oh, Someday that king is going to get me mad, and when he does, it'll be pretty bad. What are we going to do, Mr. Man of the Moon? I only wish I knew what we could do. I wish my daddy was here. He'd fix up that old wicked king. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now there's no use to cry because we're not going to die. There's no reason for all your fears. We'll get some out some way, that I'll say. So come on now. Dry up your tears. I wish we were small as two little ants. Now we could go under the door. And then I did bet we could. Oh, for goodness sakes, the Jiminy Cricket's hand through a dodge. What's the matter, Mr. Man in the Moon, if you please? Oh, I've got an idea. And it makes me so awful sore. Why in the world didn't I think of it before? What I did, if you please. Didn't Queen Alice, when you were in the palace, give you a magic whistle? Uh-huh. Did you lose it? No, of course I didn't. I got it right here in my pocket. Well, then, for goodness gracious the sakes alive, take your whistle and blow it twice. And if the whistle is any good at all, you'll shrink and shrink till you'll be right small. Oh, that's right, Mr. Man in the Moon. I forgot all about the whistle. I said not to fear we'd get out of here, and that's what we're going to do. <laughs> yep, yep. We'll yet keep our promise, Master Jonathan Thomas, quicker than you can count up to two. But what about you, Mr. Man in the Moon? Maybe I can grow smaller and get out of this jail, but you can't. I'll tell you the thing to do. Why, there's nothing to it at all. <laughs> First blow the whistle and grow right small. Then crawl right under the dungeon wall. Then when you get out, don't make a sound. But be right quiet and look around. Then blow the whistle once more. Then when you grow up, then unlock the door. It's as simple as counting from one up to four. Oh, that's a very good idea, Mr. Man in the Moon. I wonder why we didn't think of that before. <laughs> oh, the king will be angry and chuck full of wrath. And he who laughs last always has the best laugh. <laughs> Come on now, blow your whistle, Jonathan Thomas. And then we'll hurry... And keep our promise. We'll show them something about Christmas cheer. We'll have the best Christmas of any old year. Here I go, Mr. Man in the Moon. I'm ready to blow my whistle. Then hurry and blow so you'll quickly go. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go. <laughs> For gracious sakes to goodness. You're getting smaller and smaller. Oh, look at me, Mr. Man in the Moon. I'm getting as small as two times two. There, now you're small enough. That magic spell is sure fine stuff. Here I go into the door, Mr. Man in the Moon. And as soon as I get outside, I'll let you out. I won't worry if you'll quickly hurry. <laughs> It'll only be a minute. Here I go, under the wall. Now, here I am outside. I must blow my whistle once. And then grow up tall again so I can open the door. Oh, I'm beginning to grow tall again. Taller and taller and taller. And now I can open the door. There. The door's open. Come on, Mr. Man in the Moon. For gracious sakes. And now let's hurry faster than faster because now is the time to rescue Santa Claus. We'll sneak down this hall because I heard the King Squeak people say that Santa Claus is in jail right down here. Let us be very quiet or we'll start a riot. And they'll all begin to roar. Gracious to goodness and Jiminy Crickets. Look, I think this is the door. I think it is, too. Then we'll unlock the door. And open the door. Yeah. 
Hello, Santa Claus. Hello, Santa Claus. Hello, Mr. Man in the Moon. <laughs> I knew you'd get here in time for this year, but you didn't arrive too soon. This is Jonathan Thomas, Mr. Santa Claus. I'm very pleased to meet you, if you please. How do you do, my little man? I've met you before. And my gracious, what's more, I was planning to meet you again. You mean on the Christmas morning, if you please? Of course, of course. Let's see. You wanted a rocking horse, a boat, a sled, and a train. I got your letter, which said you've been much better. And you'll never be bad again. That's right. Oh, for goodness sakes to graciousness. Here, there won't be any toys under the Christmas tree. There won't be any Christmas at all this year if we don't hurry and get out of here. Come on, let's go through this door... And turn to your right. Goodness to gracious, what a sight. Soldiers are coming. We'd better start running. Oh, oh, we're going to be caught again. Run for your life. Oh, my goodness. Just when they're making good their escape, they've been found out. And soldiers coming from every direction. Do you think Jonathan Thomas and Santa Claus and the man in the moon will be caught? Oh, I certainly hope not, because here it is almost Christmas. Well, we'll find out, I guess, in the next story of Jonathan Thomas. So don't forget to listen, will you? I won't. (laughs) 